Hi all of you and welcome to your exciting journey to Szczecin, Poland. My name is Kalle Kuronen and I will show you how to get from Berlin Tegel Airport to Szczecin. The easiest and most comfortable way is to use Flixbus. It costs 11 euros and leaves approximately every two hours but only between 7 am and 11 pm. So if you arrive in the night you will have to wait. I arrived from Helsinki to Terminal E, so I will have to get to Terminal AB because that's where the Flixbus leaves. Tegel is a small and easy airport and this is how it looks like there. When you see your green Flixbus, you're ready to go. Remember to purchase the tickets beforehand from Flixbus.com. Okay, now you have arrived in Szczecin and the bus left you here. Video. Just you know to show the place because when we have the video from the place, it's easier for the whoever is coming to actually check that yeah this is the place this is the correct place. Okay. You will have to get either a taxi, a bus, or a tram. Bus number 81 takes you closest to Kordechki and you should leave uh, the bus on stop Narutovica. Most of the buses have machines where you can buy the tickets. A 15 minute ticket will be enough. They have English language and depending on the machine you can use coins and or a credit card. Okay, this is out of order. If the machines are not functioning, Get your ticket in slotties from the driver. So you have now arrived in Kordetsky and the next thing you have to do is to get to your room and register yourself in Kordetsky. If you are lucky, an ESN member has been waiting for you and guiding you through stretching. She or he will also help you to register yourself to the dorm. After your registration, you will get a yellow card identifying that you are staying in this dorm. Remember to have five photos of you and Two of them will be needed in Kordetsky registration. Your passport will be scanned and you will fill in some forms. Now, if you're not lucky and ESN member is not waiting for you, it's going to be harder. You should first hand over your passport to the receptionist and hope that she will understand something and give a key to your room. The reception is open all the time, but it's much easier to come on the daytime. You will also receive bed sheets and a pillow and information on how to pay for the room. Now you have your room, which is probably not so clean. You probably don't have an internet connection, so you are really not able to contact anyone. The first thing to do is to have the internet connection and some other important equipment. And we will now show you how to get them.
Best place to go shopping is Karafur. It's very close to Kordechki. And on the way to Karafur there is a restaurant called Zaznik, right in front of Kordechki. This is the restaurant where you can get the most urgent food. When arriving to Karafur, you will find there basically everything you need, like Ethernet cable or a router. Also pants, slippers, water and food. Suggest to get Ethernet cable or router, hot pan, fork, spoon, plates, cleaning equipment like dish, dishwashing detergent, sponge, swab, etc. Laundry detergent, extension cable, slippers, toilet paper, shampoo, whatever you noticed you are missing. How to get around in a schedule? There are two options to use the public transport. One is tram and the other one is bus. Both buses and trams have day and night shifts. You can check the bus timetables uh, and tram timetables online or using Google Maps. First, you will need to get a ticket from the nearest sales point, which looks like this. Another possibility is to buy the ticket from the tram or the bus, but sometimes the ticket machines are not functioning. Either way, you, if you buy the ticket from a sales point, you have to validate it. Uh, validating means to put it in the, in the yellow machine that will stamp on the time you entered the bus. If you buy your ticket from the ticket machine, you don't have to validate that one. And after you receive your Polish student ID from your school, you can use the 50% discount on public transport and the trains. Before having the student ID from, from Poland, you should pay the regular price, which is two złotys. I also advise you to buy the ticket every time, because sometimes there are ticket checkers who will check that everybody has a valid ticket. And if you get caught without a ticket or with an invalid ticket, you will get a fine. Thank, Thank you for, for watching. watching, enjoy, enjoy your Erasmus, Erasmus and, and welcome, welcome to, to Szczecin! <laughs>